my friends! I already recently showed you a small part of the MLG app that I'm currently developing and wanted to give you firstly a little update how the app looks like now and secondly, officially starting to search a team that helps me to collect all the data from Mobile Legends and work together with me in the future to keep the app up to date whenever Moonton decides to change 30 heroes again for example. This includes everything from the base stats to the skill description, lore, skin pictures and so on and so on. Let me tell you right from the start, this will be the most fun job in the world. But a super important one to make the app useful for the whole Mobile Legends community. Which is the ultimate goal. To have a place where every Mobile Legends player can find help to become better and gain the knowledge they need to have fun interactions with likewise minded people, join up in groups to escape the solo queue hell, participate in fun events like quizzes and so on. If you want to participate in the data collection, open up the first link in the description or on the pinned comment and apply to join the wild ride. The only thing that you need is some knowledge of ML, a discord account since we will communicate through a discord server and it would be good if you have a computer or mac available since doing this on mobile will suck most likely. You will certainly receive some kind of rewards for it of course. Now let me boot up the app and show you some parts of it. So the intro you already saw, the sign in process you already saw as well in the Q&A if you just want to see it, you can enter username, email, MLBB ID, which will be important if you want to take part in quizzes, in the community section, if you want to submit your own guides and etc. etc. You can select your highest rank, of course. You can select your top five heroes if you want. And then you can sign up. You saw that already. So now after I signed in, the first thing you will see is the hero overview where you can select different heroes, open them up, see a lot of different things. These things I already showed you as well. You can, for example, open the guide section, which will be, of course, one of the most important parts where you can have text guides and also video guides. If I would be able to click on it here, you would be able to see the video guides in the app on YouTube which will be of course guide from me, but also from other content creators who will hopefully participate in making the app as awesome as possible. The other things like the patch notes, emblems and everything I already showed you in the last time. So for now, here's nothing new to see than you already saw in my Q&A video. So um, then let me show you more newer and interesting parts. Important, no data is real, all is for showcase. When you click on the sidebar, you have a lot of different things what you can see. The first one is of course the hero skin, what you already saw. We have a guide section of course, which is very, very important where you can search for different guides, where you will have a lot of filters like lane guides, rule guides, level guides, there will be beginner guides, advanced guide, expert guides and so on. When you search them, you can of course get some text guides, which you can open up and then you can have a very, very, very long guide and the option to include pictures and so on and so on. You can include GIFs. Then you will of course have video guides video guides if I'm able to click on it. Thank you very much. Which you can also see on YouTube, of course. Um, you will see, of course, all of my guides. And also here you will be able to see guides from other content creators, hopefully. You have one very, very important feature, which will be the community feature, where you can just create your posts about what you want to talk, if you want to showcase anything, if you want to start a discussion about anything, if you're searching for uh, teammates in a certain area and so on and so on. You can do a lot of things here. Um, you can of course also open them up usually, which is not working right now because as I said, it's just for showcasing. Um, you can comment them, you can upvote them, you can downvote them if someone is like doing some trolling. So when someone posts some BS, it's getting downvoted, it gets hidden very soon. But there will be also people who have a look at what is being posted. So we don't have any or too much trolling going on. We have the tier list, of course, which will be very important, which looks like this. This this screen looks really awesome. I think that you can get a quick overview, which heroes will be very good. From here, you can also open up the heroes, of course, go to the guide section there and so on and so on. Everything is connected. Um, you have, of course, an item, emblem and spell part, which you can also, if you want, you can open them up. Then you see a lot of different things. You see a little guide for the item as well. And this is also something we need to collect a lot of data, of course, because we need to collect all the data from all the items, not only from the uh, big items, also from the small tier items, having a small guide maybe for it, have all the description from the spells and so on and so on. So a lot of data needs to be collected for that. You have a common terms page, which we already have a couple of things, but this one we can really 
build up that there is all the common terms explained, uh, which will be very, very helpful for beginners because not everyone knows what is a carry or a core. Not everyone knows what is pushing, for example. This will be explained here, for example. Um, you can you can have a patch note page, of course, where you can read the latest patch note and also have maybe a video for that. I hope there will be a content creator who accepts to share their patch note video in this app, which will be really, really awesome, of course. You most likely know who I have in my mind, maybe. We have event guides, we have art, of course, so all... The artists out there can showcase their art and get the recognition they deserve. You can comment that art, of course. You can download the art, of course, for your phone. You can also search for art. If you search for a certain hero, you can search it. You can also see the most viewed one. You have quizzes, of course, which I already mentioned, which will include skin giveaways and stuff like this, which is also very, very interesting, I think. Um, you have one very important thing, which is the submission form. Uh, because a lot of these things that are part of the app should be submitted by the community, of course, because it's an app from the community for the community. Of course, I'm going to do all the development stuff. Yes, there will be also ads in the app simply because I have to cover the development costs, which will result somewhere around $7,500, which I'm paying from my own money just by myself and from the money I earn from YouTube mostly. Um... So there will be ads, of course, and everything. And I already received a message from the ML Guide app uh, Discord server here. Still, this is not going to be an app where I'm going to get rich with. I mostly want to cover my development costs, of course. Other than that, I want to make sure that this is an app everyone can enjoy using. So I will not blast uh, I will not blast an ad every five seconds into your face, which is not skippable or stuff like this. You will see ads. There will be an option where you can remove all ads, of course, for a small payment, of course. But it will not be like as annoying as other Mobile Legend apps that have similarities to this app. Although I think this app has by far the most features outside of or which is dedicated to Mobile Legends, let's say, like this. Let me show you quickly the submission form as well. Here you can always choose what you want to submit. Let's say you want to submit your awesome gameplay. Then you click on it. Then you can select a hero which you want to submit the gameplay for. You can send in the URL. You can send the, your win rate and how many matches you have with your hero. Submit it. This will be then sent to the guards, which is also the role you can apply for or which is the role you're applying for as well if you want to in the long run um who will control all the submissions and they're able then to make your submission public into the app basically as, again so we're not having some bs guides that are not there just for trolling there or we don't have everyone have a rig rule video in the gameplay stuff like this you know here you can also see like what happens to your submissions, if they were accepted or not. And yeah, you can basically make, yeah, let's say we want to make a guide. So uh, you want to submit a text guide that you have made. Uh, then you can either say you can upload a document that you already made on the computer because making guides on the computer is, of course, easier. You can also make use the text editor we will have, which we are going to do now. You can also say what kind of guide you want to submit. So in this case, let's say you want to submit a hero guide. Uh, then again, you can select the hero you want to make the guide for. You can say what the difficulty of the guide. Is it a beginner guide or is it already a really advanced one? Um, you can, of course, make the title of the guide. You can make all the details there. You can upload pictures and then you can submit the guide. I think this is many of these things are pretty self-explaining, but still uh, it needs to be developed. And I think the developers I'm working together with are doing a very, very good job making it very easy, very simple, very easy to understand. And it already looks really published, uh, not published, polished, in my opinion, at least. Um, you can also... Submit your build, of course, where you can select the items. Now you, you can select like the first item, second item, third item, and so on and so on. And just submit your build and so on and so on. I can show you all the other things, but I think you get the idea. So yeah, this is the current state of the app. Again, everything is just for showcasing. In the released version, many things can still look different than they are now. There could be new features and who knows in which direction it goes. For now, this is what you can see. I would love to hear your feedback, of course. And again, you can... If you want to help me to make this app as po as awesome as possible, you can apply now using the first link in the description. Join the MLG Guide app team. 
MLG App Team. This is the correct way. Yeah, and help me to make this app as awesome as possible for the whole community until one day Mobile Legends or Moonturn is hopefully uh, buying this app from me because they want to use it by themselves because it's so awesome and I'm getting totally rich with it. No, I'm joking, of course. Um, but yeah, that is going to be a really, really awesome app for everyone. And we make it so much acknowledged by the community that even headless chickens are finding it that we all experience in solo queue and hopefully even these people are learning something so yeah more i don't have to show you for now again apply now and i hope to hear from you soon and have a wonderful day